Hey guys, what is up? What's going on? My name is Lauren and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about remote work, location independence and helping you travel the world as much as you want, whenever you want. In today's video, we're going to chat about the best freelancing websites to find remote work. I've broken it up into general sites, which kind of feature a bit of everything, as well as niche sites for writers, designers, techies, marketeers, as well as lawyers and esports. So if you've been struggling to find remote work or you're not really too sure where you should be looking, keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna kick things off with the best general job website. The first one I'm gonna speak about is Angelus. Now, Angelus is something that I use every single day for lead gen because it gives you a list of companies and you can filter by industry. So I use that as a source for my cold emailing. And if you want me to speak about cold emailing in a future video, let me know in the comments below. But back to the job board, it has a really great job board section with up and coming tech startups. And while most of the positions are for developers, you can still find job openings for writing, content creation, sales and marketing. But what I also love about Angelus is that you can apply for jobs secretly. So if you still have a nine to five, your boss won't see what you're up to. And each job post does include salary transparency. The second general freelancing website I'm going to speak about is FlexJobs. So FlexJobs is an incredible job board for finding part-time, full-time and freelancing gigs in over 50 different industries. Plus there are remote online jobs for people with zero experience all the way up to executive level. FlexJobs also screens every single job posting to make sure it's from a legit company so you can be rest assured that it's not a scam. But there is one catch, FlexJobs is not free. You do have to pay around $15 a month to be able to see the jobs and apply to them. The third job board I'm gonna talk about is for South African freelancers specifically. So No Sweat Work is a job board for South Africans who want to work remotely, either full-time or part-time, but it's not a fully remote site as some jobs still require you to telecommute so you just need to read the fine print there before applying. And you'll find job openings for marketing and media, advertising, television and of course IT. The fourth general job board site I'm going to speak about is called Remote Co. Oh no it's not. <laughs> Okay, so the fourth job board I'm going to talk about is called Remote OK and what I love about Remote OK is its filtering system because there is nothing more soul draining than having to scroll through dozens of job ops and like none of them are relevant to you. The filtering system on the site lets you filter by job experience level, so whether you're a newbie or you're super experienced and an executive, as well as job type, so sales, marketing, writing, etc. And you can also filter by whether if it's a tech job or a non-techy job, which is great if you're someone like me who sucks at tech. And lastly, you can create a custom job alert for your niche and you'll get weekly or daily emails delivered straight to your inbox so that you don't have to log on to the website every single day to see what's new. And the fifth job board I'm going to speak about is Upwork. Now Upwork is a super popular site for a lot of freelancers. It's a great way to gain experience and get those testimonials, especially if you're a newbie and you're feeling a bit uncertain about your career as a freelancer. However, it's not the best long-term option. I'm only saying this because it can be quite difficult to find high-paying clients. And you also have to split 20% of your earnings with Upwork and they charge a withdrawal fee. I spoke a little bit more about how I use Upwork to kickstart my location independence journey, which you can watch over here. But if you're interested in hearing more about my experience and a review of the platform, make sure that you hit that bell notification because next week my video is going to be all about my Upwork experience as a top rated freelancer on the platform. Okay, and the last freelancing website in the general job board section that I'm going to speak about is called Cloud Peeps. Cloud Peeps is perfect if you are already an established freelancer or you are someone with a very strong portfolio because you will need to pass their vetting process in order to get listed as a freelancer on their website. But if you make the cut, you'll have access to remote jobs for social media management, marketing, graphic design, and so much more. Plus, some of the world's biggest brands hire freelancers from Cloud Peeps, including L'Oreal and Airbnb. So now we're going to talk about niche job board sites for freelance writers. As a freelance writer myself, this is the topic that I have the most experience in and the job board that I absolutely love the most is called ProBlogger. In my last video about the best remote jobs for making money online, 
which you can watch over here, I spoke about how I grew my income from $20 per blog post all the way up to $400 per blog post. And ProBlogger is one of the main reasons I was able to do that. Because the site tends to attract clients who are willing to pay more for quality and aren't looking for the person who can do the job for the cheapest rate possible. So the second job board I'm going to speak about for freelance writers is called Contently. However, Contently isn't your run-of-the-mill job board site. Basically, you upload your writing portfolio onto their blog and you can land work from their network of brands if you are a good match. The third freelancing website I'm going to speak about is called Textbroker. So Textbroker is perfect for freelance writing newbies who aren't too confident in their writing skills just yet and want to pick up a few part-time gigs to gain their confidence. Basically, what happens is you upload a sample of your writing onto the website and it gets rated between one to four stars. Now, that rating determines how much you will get paid per word and that ranges from seven cents per word all the way up to five dollars but what i do like about the site is that your writing is constantly being reviewed and re-rated so even if you start on one star you're not stuck there till the end of time you have the potential to go up in ratings every time you submit a new article for a client and yeah i just think it's a really great option for new writers to gain confidence in their skills as a freelance writer Okay, so let's get into the best freelancing websites for designers. The first site I'm going to speak about is called 99designs. 99designs is a firm favorite with designers looking for remote work online. Essentially, it's an online community where you upload your portfolio and you can connect with potential clients and bid on projects. You can also filter opportunities by categories like web design, logo design, t-shirt design, illustrations and more. And much like Upwork, you will need to split a portion of what you make with 99designs. And there is also a $100 sign-up fee which comes off the first $500 that you do make. The second freelancing website I'm going to speak about for designers is called Dribble. So on Dribble, you can upload your portfolio onto the site and clients can approach you with work or you can reach out to potential clients. And one thing that you do need to remember when you're on the site is that when you're searching for jobs, you do need to select remote from the filters. Otherwise, you're going to come across jobs which also expect you to come into the office and that is not what we want. Let's move on to the best freelancing websites for techies. As someone who does not know that much about this particular space of freelancing, I am just going to give you a brief overview because I don't really understand the developer world. So the first site I'm going to speak about is called GitHub. And while GitHub is mainly used for developers to share code, there is a whole job board section which has a ton of remote work opportunities for developers. And the next tech job board that I've heard so much positive things about is called Power to Fly. And Power to Fly is a job board specifically for women looking to break into tech. The whole idea behind the site is that it matches women to location independent jobs around the world. But before you can start applying to jobs, you will need to sign up and pass a vetting process. And if you are selected, you'll be matched to an employer for a paid trial. Okay, and then the last freelancing website for techies that I'm going to mention is called Stack Overflow. And much like GitHub, where it is a web development community, there is a job board section where you can find in-house and remote work opportunities. Okay, so I'm going to speak about some of the really, really niche job board sites for freelancers. The first one I'm going to mention is called Hitmaker, and that is for esports. So if you're super passionate about esports and you want to make money from it, this is the website for you. You can pick up positions that are entry level all the way up to senior management, and you can search by full-time, part-time, or contract gigs. Okay, and the second super niche freelancing website I'm going to speak about is called Axiom. I hope I am saying that right. And that is specifically for lawyers. The whole concept behind Axiom is that it matches lawyers with companies who want fully remote legal teams. And bonus, <laughs> the majority of Axiom's clientele are companies who are listed on the Fortune 500. So you know you're going to make bank. Okay, so the next job board I'm going to speak about is specifically for people who are executives. You know, I know a lot of these job boards tend to have positions for entry level or mid management positions, but if you are already at the top of your career and you're done with that shit and you want a job that's going to let you work from anywhere and you don't want to get a job that is beneath your skill level, then 
you need to sign up for the Business Talent Group. It's an independent consulting agency and it matches you to some of the world's leading companies and you can work for them right from your laptop. If you love this video on the best freelancing websites, hit that bell notification because in my next video, I'm going to be speaking about my experience as a top rated freelancer on Upwork. And if you want to learn more about remote work and location independence, make sure to check out these two videos right over here. Anyways guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll check you in my next video. Cheers!